No, no, bees, help me, bees. We need more bees. Just keep shooting at me. Just keep shooting. No! How's it going, crew? This is Happy Days, and welcome back to our Calamity Death Mode Super Modded Let's Play. And guys, we are in for a big episode today. We'll be taking on the Moon Lord, and I am totally pumped to see what the Moon Lord is like in Death Mode. It's really exciting. And you guys have been giving me... Blah, 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 I'm tongue-tied. You guys have been giving me lots of tips and tricks for the Moon Lord battle, and I'm really excited to try them out. And one thing a lot of you were telling me is to craft a weapon called the Swarmer, uh, which is why I'm fighting Plantera now, to try and get uh, the Wasp Gun off her. Uh, there's also a lot of other things you guys have been telling me to make. Uh, one thing was to take off the Death Pack accessory that I was using. Apparently that is a bit of a no-go. It gets you killed too easy. So you can see my health is back under a thousand now. So thanks for the advice on that, because yeah, that, that probably wouldn't have been much fun for me. I also crafted a new weapon called the Tome of Fates. I'm using it now. It seems kind of cool, but you do need to get very close to enemies to use it, which is a little bit scary. So, woo! But uh, yeah, we've got a lot of stuff to craft. I can also make some more uh, health and mana items. Uh, that a few people pointed out, so I'll be making those too. But the first thing we need to do is just be Plantera, and oh my gosh, this Plague Staff is amazing against her. It does just so much damage, and it gets through all the other little crazy things she's spawning. So there we go, down to 16,000 people, almost got her. Beautiful, let's finish her off. Yep, 6,000. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, come on, yes, yes, get her. Ah, beautiful, we got it. Woo! So let's get back up to our safety box. Up here, well, it's not really a safety box, but it's out of the arena. And uh, let's see, okay, so I needed these living shards to craft the miracle fruit. Uh, so I only needed 10 of those, so that's cool. I uh, don't need the plague cell canisters anymore, I don't believe. There's a torn note if you read those. And uh, let's open our treasure bag. Are you ready? Three, two, one, boom! Okay, I didn't get the wasp gun. But that's actually okay, because I'm pretty sure with IMK Sushi mod, yeah, you can swap weapons. Yeah, so if I go to Tinkerer's Workshop and buy a boss swap loot, uh, token thing, I can craft it anyway. So yeah, so I've crafted the Xerox wings, which is kind of awesome. And uh, we'll craft this Swarmer and the awesome accessory now. Let's go do it, guys! So I kind of want to try uh, my new weapon against King Slime. So let's see how it goes. And oh my goodness, it just melted him. This is a really cool weapon. It's a shame it's so close range, but uh, apparently it turns into something looking pretty amazing. Although I need these Galactica Singularity things, so I assume that's from a later upcoming boss. Maybe Devourer of Gods? Not quite sure. But anyway, we need to buy the boss loot swapping token from the Goblin, and let's sell off this King Slime stuff. I don't... No, no, no! I need my banner! Don't sell the banners, Happy. Don't sell those banners. Ooh. So if I go to my Tinkerer's shop now... I should be able to change, yep, I can change that into the wasp gun. And then as always guys, I've got my blue chest here with stuff I've been meaning to upgrade. So we'll put the wasp gun in there, I got the bee gun earlier. Uh, so let's see, I can make the comet shard, which should increase my mana. <gasps> it made it go purple! Oh, that's kind of cool. I can get miracle fruit, uh, which is stuff, you know, I got from the astral media, all that. Alright, my life's gone green, this is cool, this is cool. Okay, I think there's more I can make, was there something else? Uh, I want to make the Swarmer. Now, how do I do that? Let's see, maybe I need a different uh, crafting bench. So, where is it? There it is. I need... Oh, I need Vortex Fragment! Oh, silly happy. Well, I know which um, I know which pillar I'm going to first. And then I can also craft this accessory a lot of you were telling me to make this Plague Hive. And apparently that powers up the Swarmer. So, I'll make it now. And I'll put it in the box because I can't use it yet. So I guess we need to go to the Vortex Pillar first and uh, hopefully not get completely destroyed. Let's do it. All right, people. It looks like we're approaching the pillar. Oh, yes, we definitely are. So I've swapped back to my gun for this one. And even though it's not as powerful as my magic weapons, it does have homing glorified bullets, uh, which is kind of insane against pillar enemies. So you definitely... Gunslinger is one of the more stronger classes. And then there's my NPC tower, just for the extra NPCs. I can't fit them all in my base. I need to build the top of it. Hello, Pillar. How's it going? Oh, goodness. So, um, this shouldn't be too difficult, although I am taking a lot of damage. I should throw my buffs on. There we go. That's going to help. And I do have the heart attack buff as well. So that's kind of nice. I'm already a quarter way through it. So I was talking about maybe collecting the banners, but, uh... 
it seems like the pillars aren't going to be too hard to defeat. So I might do this where I'm keeping them in my inventory. And if I'm starting to have trouble, I can like put a few down quickly. That might work. Who knows? Should I use Rage? Yeah, I might just use Rage. Why not? It's only, it's only going to speed things up, isn't it? Oh, yes. I can kill them even faster. <laughs> oh, so we're almost halfway there already now. So I need 20 Vortex Fragments to make the Swarmer. And uh, hopefully we get tons of them, though. Because I'm going to need to do a lot of crafting by the looks of it, guys. But it looks like this is pretty much under control. So let's zoom ahead to the end of the event. Okay, here we go, people. We've only got two enemies left. Vortex Pillar is vulnerable. Let's go take it out. Let's try our Eldritch thing, our Tome of Fates. Yeah, that I thought that might destroy it pretty quick. Oh, back to the guns now. Lots of pillars for Happy. I mean, lots of fragments. What are those Quasar fragments? Oh, that's kind of crazy. All right, let's get that. Hopefully, that didn't take away from the Vortex ones. Okay, did I get them all? Beautiful. There's a few lingering uh, of those around, a few uh, Alien Hornet thingies. Okay, I got 46. That's kind of nice. So let's see. Oh, yeah, there's some cool stuff I can make. Get away from me, Pixie. So, oh, there's a cannon. Wow, Awoken Dream now. Oh, that's a Hollow Knight reference. Awesome. There's a sigil thing. Oh, there is a. Oh, my gosh, there's some cool weapons. I think some of you were talking about that. Onyx Deathbringer, maybe? Apparently, that's pretty good, but I'm going to need to beat Moonlord first. So, anyway, what I'll do is, you guys know I'm going to craft the Swarmer. So, I'll craft it, and I'll see you guys at the next pillar. Oh, fine. I know some of you probably want to see me make it. So, let's see. Let's open the box. Here it is. There's the Swarmer. And how does it look? Whoa! Look at all the bees it fires. That is crazy. So, I've got the Plague Hive as well. So, I'll put my fragments in the box for now. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to decide... I might take off my Mana Overloader for a bit. Oh, it's making it dark. I think I'm cursed. But uh, now it's time for the next pillar. Let's go. Okay, people. There's only one way to test out this gun, and I'm going straight for my most hated pillar, the solar one. We're going straight in, and we are going to see how all these bees do against it. Oh, crawl to Pete. Stay away from me. Okay. Wow. This seems pretty good. It just has so many bees. There's bees for days. Oh, hello, pillar. All right. So maybe, uh, okay, I'm going to have to make sure I've got plenty of mana, but uh, it seems like the bees are like... <gasps> This is insane! No way! Oh my gosh! Bee power! Although it does use a lot of mana by the looks of it, but that's okay. Oh, I probably need that um that thing that makes the mana stars come to you. That would be a pretty good weapon. Accessory to get, I mean. Okay, they're stuck in the hole. There we go. We'll add about a billion bees in there. That should help. Oh, this is amazing. Oh, I've got a platform up here. That's kind of handy. Alright, beautiful. No more quarterpedes eating me. Whoa! So, I can see why some people were saying this is probably going to be a good weapon again. No! No, I'm dying! Don't die, Happy! Don't die! You were doing so well! No! Alright, let's get rid of those things. No, no, don't kill me! Leave me alone! No! Stop it! Stop it! Get away from me! No! Okay, no! Call the bee! No! Ooh. No, no, no! Bees, help me, bees! We need more bees! Just keep shooting, Happy! Just keep shooting! No! Oh, bees! Alright, people, I have returned, and we've got this solar pillar down to basics again, so let's use our very nice... Oh, goodness! No, don't die, Happy! No! Quick bees, help me again! No! Are you kidding me? Oh, I died in the same spot. You suck, solar pillar! Ah! Okay, people, here we are at the Nebula Pillar. After I went and retrieved all my fragments, I think I got about 45, which is kind of nice. But uh, I am getting hurt pretty badly here, so oh, hopefully I don't die. That's it, Happy. Don't die. No more dying. We've had a bit of dying. Oh, okay, yes, beautiful. It's undone. Where is it? Where is the pillar? Where? Are... Hello, pillar. Oh, there you are. Oh, you crazy pillar. Oh, it's already dead. The bees killed it. Oh. All right, so now we only have the uh, Stardust Pillar left before we can fight the Moon Lord. So I think this is a good time to get our arena ready and do any last minute crafting that I need to do. So, let's see. Let's get all these lovely mail blobs. Am I getting some more of those? Beautiful. Okay, got some more banners. Very nice. And, uh, yeah, so that, all these mail thingies are going to come in handy. But uh, I think I need Luminite before I can craft 
uh, the armor set, the Xerox stuff. Yeah, so that's a bit unfortunate, but uh, I think I've almost got everything I need. So I'll get some materials, and I will start to build a little arena, probably here in the desert, actually. It's probably a good spot. Ah, uh, here we are, and I've just been playing around, guys. I don't think there's actually too much I want to do for the Moon Lord. All I'm making is a lot of people said you, it's really important to dodge uh, a lot of his beam attacks. So I just put, like, these blocks here, but I left a little space so I can shoot the bees through the middle and to the sides, of course. And then I might do the same up here um, if I have to run around a lot during the battle. But uh, apart from that, I might just reforge my accessories to menacing instead of lucky. I find sometimes that seems to do a bit more damage. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I'm going to do. And then we'll just give it a shot and see what happens. I'll, I'll probably get brutally destroyed. But hey, that's the fun of death mode, isn't it? So let's zoom to the status pillar. Oh, guys, I'm getting nervous. We've only got a few Stardust mobs left to kill. And then it is time for the Moon Lord. Woo! I can't wait to see what it's like. But uh, I'm just trying to keep my health nice and high so I don't have to use a healing charge uh, before the start of the fight because I'm probably going to need that. Okay, it looks like the pillar is open. Beautiful. All right, it's going down. Very nice indeed. There's like 3 million mana stars here. Woo! All right, so let's grab the fragments nice and fast. Beautiful. Give me all the fragments. Nice, nice, nice. And now we need to get back to our arena. Oh my gosh, there's so much stuff here. Okay, let's teleport back. Beautiful. Hello, Dryad. Hopefully the Dryad can help and not die. So I'm going to refresh my buffs and let's get ready for the Moon Lord battle, people. Oh my gosh, guys. Here it is. We're up to the Moon Lord. Oh, I'm so excited. Woohoohoohoo. And uh, I don't think this is going to be pretty. And luckily, my... Oh, my gosh. Throwing on a heal. My heart attack debuff came on. So... Or buff, rather. So, I'm going to use uh, Rage straight away on the forward eye. No! No! Fantastical Death Aid! Don't get me! Woo! I just want to try and kill that forward eye as quick as possible. Woo! Okay. So, now, I guess I'm not going to be able to stand still, I don't think. I'm going to have to keep moving. Try and get those bees to attack the hands. So, we're going to watch out for that forward. I need to kill that as soon as possible. Oh, which way is the beam going? Woo! Can I get the forward eye out? Yes, I got it. Beautiful. Okay, lovely, lovely. Okay, 27 seconds off a heal, guys. Woo! So, I need to get the core open now as soon as possible. Wyvern, get out of here. You crazy Wyvern. Woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo! Running for it. Woo! Oh, my gosh. Where am I going to go? There's so many attacks. Okay, let's try and double back a bit. The core's open! The core's open! Oh my goodness! Okay, if we can hit the core. No, the eye's chasing me. Alright, just keep firing. Just keep firing. Happy run, run, run. Oh my god, this is insane! Oh, I gotta heal off. Beautiful. I've got rage. Okay, I'm throwing rage on. No, no. Hey! No! Are you kidding? Oh, I was so close. Oh my god. Oh, Moon Lord. Oh, I think we were doing okay. I just, um, I, I felt like it was going invulnerable for a moment, the core, but, uh, who knows? I'm going to have another crack, but, uh, thank you so much quickly for my Patreon supporters for August. And, uh, a big thank you to Miguel, who's been a Cobalt Cookie for four months in a row now. Thank you so much. That is incredible support. So, I'll put a link on screen now, guys. We actually did some multiplayer with my Patreons during the month of August, which was really fun. So, if you want to get involved, all the details are on the card on screen now. What I might do, guys, I want to have another go at the Moon Lord. I think I'm going to craft a Celestial Sigil rather than go through all of the pillars again. So, uh, I think... I know that's a waste of my fragments, but... I kind of just want to... I want to beat him because it unlocks so much. So, I think it's worthwhile to have a crack. I, I don't think I'll change anything. I'll stick with my current loadout. And, uh, yeah, we'll give it a go. So, we'll wait for night time. This Moon Lord is going down, people.
Okay, guys, we're back up to the second uh, form of the Moon Lord. And yeah, I was right. It does appear like the core goes invincible. And you've actually got to kill the silly eyeballs that spawn. Uh, which is really difficult because they're throwing so many attacks at you. It's kind of insane, but it looks like the core's open again. So let's throw on, uh, yeah, beautiful. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, I was getting a stack of damage in and then the, the core went invincible. So, yeah, I guess I just have to sort of stay back as much as I can. So, whoa, look at all those attacks. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. I might have to get used to using Rod of Discord a bit more during these fights because, yeah, it's pretty crazy. All right, I'm, I'm a bit off a heel, but, yeah, this is pretty much all I can think of. Just, like, staying a ridiculous amount back from the Moon Lord, otherwise the attacks just get me, so, yeah, but anyway, it seems to be kind of working, the, the eyeballs are sort of dying slowly, so, Ooh, okay, yeah, got a few more, alright, so I think I need to try and hit him with rage, alright, 18 seconds off a heal, let's just keep use, moving back, using up our platforms, oh, okay, I'm gonna try and fly over him, oh, this is pretty crazy, alright, the core's open again, I don't have rage ready at the moment, though, uh, so, yeah, uh, I, I will get a healing charge, Alright, it's down to 30,000. We are doing pretty good. Alright, come on, heal, heal, heal. Yep, up to 500. <gasps> um, maybe it's not going to go invincible again. Okay, I'm going to move in for the kill. Yep, come on, come on, come on, yes! Whoa, 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 whoa! We did it! We beat the death lord! <laughs> the death mode moon lord! Whoa, 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 whoa! Whoa! Yes! Ah, don't kill me afterwards! Oh, you crazy things, and it's raining. Oh, my goodness! Oh, <laughs> thanks, Dryad. <laughs> so, wow. Oh, we got lots of stuff. We got notes. So, I tell you what, let, let's open the pig and uh, I'll chuck a bunch of stuff in there I don't really need at the moment. So, Celestial Onion. Oh, is that what? Doesn't that make it really hard or something? But tell me in the comments what that does again. And uh, yeah, let's throw some potions in there for now. And uh, I might put this. That looks pretty cool as well. So, I don't need this stuff at this stage. And uh, let's open our treasure bag, guys. <gasps> I'm so excited. Are you ready? Three, two, one, boom! Oh, we got rainbow crystal. Okay, that's kind of cool. Probably not as useful in um in uh, death mode, but I can probably use that goblin tool to swap it for something else. So that's kind of nice. We've got gravity globe. Got all the usual stuff. Got suspicious looking tentacle, uh, which will replace my siren pet. But uh, wow. So now that means. That the world, I think new enemies and stuff spawn now. And uh, I think I can, is it Providence? Or the, or the, you know, that Devourer. There's like, there's all these extra bosses to fight. So anyway, guys, let me know your tips and tricks in the comments. We'll wrap it up there for now. But uh, I'm excited. I just got an achievement. I'm excited to start uh, looking at the post Moon Lord stuff in death mode. So smash the like button if you're hyped for the rest of our Dante series. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. And here's the most important part. As always, you will stay happy and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Days signing out. See ya!